Linden Lebayan. Are you on? <coughs> Testing. Test. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Lyndon. I'm a software developer, hobby wedding videographer, and a Lumix enthusiast. This is my first talking head video of 2024. And uh, to be honest, I've tried to record this a couple times uh, throughout the weeks after I delivered my last wedding video last year, but uh, I couldn't. I couldn't because of this thing. This is uh, this is Leandro Jack Lebayan. He has uh, pushed himself to the bottom of the crib there, but. Uh, this is my son, and he was born October 24th, uh, 2023, and uh, he's been a handful ever since. So between him and uh, Cyberpunk 2077, I haven't had I haven't had much time. And actually, I've, yeah, I've tried to record this a couple times, and uh, I've always just gone off the rails. But I'm gonna stay focused for this this recording. So stick with me. I don't know which, I think it was just my Lumix videos from last year really got me some traction. A lot of people, a lot of like strangers have reached out on Instagram to ask like questions and talk about like wedding videos and wedding videography, uh, other solo hobby amateur wedding shooters just like myself asking about cameras and and uh, sharing their uh, their edits before they deliver them. If you're someone who's reached out and uh, asked questions or shared your wedding films, like, I appreciate that. I uh, don't really know what to expect when you, you know, when you put these videos out. You expect to get comments here and, uh, here and there in like the comment section, but rarely to have like conversations with other like-minded people. I appreciate that. And like, if you're watching, if you're a new subscriber, which I've gotten a bunch in the past like couple months, if you're a new subscriber and you're shooting weddings and you want to share uh, your wedding videos with me before like you deliver them, like keep them unlisted or private or whatever. Uh, send them over. I'd love to see them. I'm not kidding when I say like, yeah, cameras are cool and making videos are cool, but like, I really, not so much weddings, but I really like just a good wedding video. So yeah, share them and uh, I'd love to watch them and talk about them. All right, so let's talk about the uh, 2023 year. Pretty good, I'd say. I thought I was only gonna book five ended up booking 13. Every wedding of the 2023 season, I mained the Lumix S5 Mark II. In fact, uh, shooting my first wedding uh, of 2023 with the S5 Mark II was so good, enjoyable. In fact, I, I saw the potential of, I guess, how I wanted my workflow uh, for multi-camera to, to go throughout the rest of the year. I ended up selling the GH5 and the S5 Mark I after that first wedding and buying a second S5 Mark II. So for the remainder of my weddings of the year, I was using two S5 Mark IIs and the GH6. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a, a full frame whore, but the strengths of the full frame are apparent, uh, especially with the dual native ISO of 640 and 4000. They're using a bit of, like faster lenses with the uh, Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8, uh, and I now have the uh, 35 uh, F1.2. I'm using right now to record myself. It's it's confidence instilling. It's shooting with a camera that is able to shoot in almost any conditions, coupled with the fact that it's got a fan and uh, with a limited recording, decent battery life, essentially handles all type of like weather conditions, a little bit of rain here, can handle the hottest day of the summer of the Winnipeg area that I serve. Uh, I, I think we hit like plus 35 degrees Celsius in direct sunlight. And this thing was a tank. It recorded for, on a tripod, my one S5 Mark II recorded for uh, an hour and a half uh, with no no troubles at all. DCI 4K 24P, 10-bit uh, 422. And now with these prices being uh, sub $2,000 with the with sales like Black Friday and uh, Boxing Day, it's, it's a no brainer. As a solo videographer, um, the size of the kits, the size of the lenses, uh, the S primes are super small, tiny, lightweight. I'd go as far as say it's like the perfect system for solo uh, wedding video shooters for the price. I'll say that for the price because, you know, internal NDs on that C70 and raw light looking pretty good. Yeah, so uh, reindeer of the year, uh, two S5 Mark IIs and the GH6 right up until that G9 Mark II was announced and released. Standout feature of that G9 Mark II was the fixing of the dynamic range boost, where it's no longer a magic setting that bumps your uh, base ISO to 2000. It's now working across the board, even at the lower ISOs, to give that micro four-thirds sensor as much dynamic range 
in any scenario. While that was good, it also was the reason why I ended up deciding uh, to sell my GH6 and just abandon Micro Four Thirds as a whole. So I sold the GH6 after my last wedding last year. I sold the GH6 and the and all the lenses and adapters uh, that I had, mainly because I was really hoping I can trust that even without a fan, that G9 Mark II could record in limited in whatever setting I wanted to. It would be a great gimbal camera, locked off camera, main camera, I'm sure it would. The fact that it doesn't have that dual native ISO for that slight boost in lower than ideal light, not even low, low light, lower than ideal light, that Lumix would sacrifice the low light performance uh, to gain better dynamic range across the board meant that that camera and the platform maybe wasn't for me anymore. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, when that G9 Mark II was, uh, was released, spent obviously hours watching a bunch of reviews and uh, decided in the end, I'm gonna go all in on the uh, on L mount. So at this point, I'm currently with two S5 Mark IIs. I want to still have a three camera setup uh, for my first, actually for all my weddings really. I wanna have a three camera setup and I'm just holding out to see what, what would fit. Even with two S5 Mark IIs, I could pick up a third, but if I have to, by the time my first wedding comes around, I'm probably just gonna rent. If nothing comes out that, I don't know, interests me in, in actually like picking up or, or, or buying, I will probably just rent an S5 Mark II or an S5 IIX. I'm really excited for what might be coming down for the uh, L-mount pipeline. Some people have asked me about the Blackmagic uh, 6K uh, L-mount camera. It looks good. Um, I don't think I have a need for a cinema camera at that price that doesn't have internal NDs. There's a lot to like about that Blackmagic uh, 6K uh, L-mount camera. Uh, with the full frame, okay, fine. Its low light performance is kind of lacking according to the reviews. Uh, it gets muddy and muddy fast. That might be an artifact of shooting raw though uh, and might need a bit more post-production that a lot of people haven't really um, talked about. But, and I don't, I don't trust Blackmagic enough uh, as a set it and forget it camera. So I would likely have to use the S5 Mark IIs as uh, like B cams and main um, the Blackmagic. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. It's a lot to think about and it hasn't won me over. So I'm holding out and seeing what, what, what else comes out. But I am excited because a lot of rumors about L-mount uh, Lumix cameras, S1H uh, Mark II, whatever that's gonna be, S1. Whatever that's gonna be. Damn, man, I've been recording for how long? I, I should have made notes. I didn't make notes, and this is what I get. I don't remember like what I've talked about or what I need to elaborate on. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. I think, yeah, I, so I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's reached out with the questions or comments, whatever, throughout the year. Shared your wedding videos. I really appreciate those. Did not expect any of that. Uh, don't message me on Twitter or X, because I don't I don't really log into that. Uh, but yeah, if, for sure, if you have questions already, if you're, if you're a noob solo wedding shooter, uh, you're just like me. Post your questions and comments or whatever. Uh, I'd love to answer and watch your wedding films. And if you're not here for wedding stuff and are here for Lumix or camera related things, I'm probably not the dude to ask, but I will definitely share my experience and my likes and dislikes about uh, about cameras. But yeah, okay. I'll make more videos because I'm in wedding off season. Uh, I just have to watch this kid and try and raise him and keep him alive and healthy. Uh, but other than that, I, I'm free to make uh, YouTube videos for a bit. This is weird. I'm making YouTube videos. Okay, bye guys. Bye.